What backlash is there against her? So she said in an interview for the Hulu show, it's her, her sisters uh-huh. are talking about it. What's your advice? Behind the camera, what's your advice? I would assume this is what she said. What's your advice for girls that are trying to do what you do? Right. And she said, my advice is get the fuck up. My advice for women trying to get business women Mm -hmm. that are trying to get into this industry, whatever, is to get the fuck up and work. Doesn't seem like anybody wants to work anymore. That was her advice. Sure. Then the mob of what about me? Yeah. This whole what about me mob, like you said one thing, but it didn't pertain to me in my life. So now, now it's like this whole... Um, you know, she's so out of touch because she, she had a sex tape and uh, nannies and all these things. Mm -hmm. And I think the point of that is that she wasn't talking to those people, right? Sure. She wasn't talking to these people that are bringing up like, what about a, you know, 35 year old single mom that's working three jobs to that. You say, sorry, honey. I wasn't actually talking right. to you because that's not going to happen for right. you. That's like someone, that's like, like uh, a runner being like, look, if you want to, if you want to win, you got to get up every day and just run. And then like a handicapped person being like, well, my life's going to work. What about me, well, right? my life's going to work. Exactly. <laughs> no. So it's what about, it's what about me? It's like, no matter what you say, there's going to be a group of people that go, yeah, but what about Me. me. You're not. Yeah. They just add these. What like, about me? They're like, they like, they're like, well, what about? And then they add a hundred bizarre qualifiers. Exactly. And you're like, I obviously, this is not a blanket. I'm not like, talking to you. And I would love for her to be able to go like the goop route, like Gwyneth Paltrow, where she literally just said, hey, by the way, I'm talking to rich people. If you aren't rich, just keep scrolling. Yeah. And she never apologized and she never was like, oh, let me dumb down my thing or let me make a sauna. Let me give you a a sauna recommendation that's a little bit more affordable for you. Abandon your children and get a boob job. Right. Yeah, get get some fucking ass fillers. The point, and it was just, I think it was just a couple day story and it was a slow news day or whatever, but everyone just being like, you know, my advice is to have a sex tape. My advice is to grow up rich. My advice is to blah, 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 right? Mm-hmm. Like, she's literally talking to young girls. Yeah. You're over 30, mm-hmm. and you're trying to be an influencer. Starting now, she's not talking to you. She's talking to girls that are DMing her, like, what do I do? How do I get to where you're at? I have this many followers. I'm on my way, whatever. Her advice to those girls. Right was just fucking work. You've got to work. And You've got to work. I would have followed that up with, hey, to everyone I was talking to, look at how offended all of these people are at being told they have to work hard. So uh, look Don't at, be that. Yeah, don't be that. Look how, look great. Don't write great me a message about, exactly. Don't write me a message about how I'm not talking to you. Because mm-hmm. that right there is exactly what I'm fucking talking about. Um, and again, like, I would, if she was at a hospital in Ukraine saying this speech, problematic. If she was at a domestic violence shelter talking to women, like problematic, but she was on her Hulu show in full (laughs) Gucci, whatever it is saying, if you want to do probably, if you want to do what I'm doing, you've got to fucking work for it. And you have to be in the right age range right now. You can't be 35. You can't be a single mom. You can't have three jobs. I'm sorry. That ship has sailed. Anthony Bourdain used to say the same thing. Yeah. Like if you're 35, people asking me, how do I get into the business? If you're 35 right now, almost 40 right now, just trying to become a chef, he said, it's not going to happen for you. You've got to find something else. Yeah. If you're overweight and you have, and you want to, he even said that you cannot, you're not going to be able to start in the kitchen right now like that. hmm find something else. Like, I'm not fucking talking to you. But also, like, okay, you're going to be a chef. You can still open your own restaurant or something like that. You can go be in a kitchen. Yeah, you can have a food truck. You can do yeah. some of those things. Yeah, you, what you can't, I guess, work at is a fucking five-star Michelin restaurant. No. Right, and Which, you can't, you can't be trying to become a celebrity chef starting at zero at 35. That's what he was saying. Yeah. If you've never worked in a kitchen before and you're thinking about maybe becoming a chef and you're 35, he said very fucking plain. It's not going to happen not, for you. Not through that avenue, no. Not through that avenue. But what if, if you, you have a sex tape and then you have a morning show and then that morning show becomes a cooking show? 
You got to think outside the box. Well, exactly right. Or well, inside the box. Hang on. So, but so real quick, uh, can you cut to camera five real quick, Giorgio? Is that possible? Can you just put that on screen? Yep. Just that that thing girl. is fucking haunting me, dude. It's haunting me <laughs> yeah. right now. In the just that corner. one white crock, <laughs> dude. Right there. Boom. Nick, I caught it. I Sorry, I caught it out of the corner him. of my eye. It's talking to him. But anyways, I now just wanted to address that. Yeah, that white crock got me. That, um, because no surprise to anyone, I agree with her, right? Like, no surprise I agree with someone saying, hey, you got to get up, get the fuck up and work. If this is what you want to do, it's a lot of work. But the, the other option... Uh, to go back to what Giorgio was saying, is uh, you become somebody later in life that somebody famous loves, like Ilaria Baldwin. You change who you are. You stalk people. You don't um, think that was hard work? Motherfuck. I, I mean, she had to, <laughs> seriously. But like, she got a cooking show afterwards. She was doing cooking segments she put all in- over the, yeah. She did. She put in the time. She put in the time. She put in the work. She yep. found out what his type was yep. from friends. She found out where he was going to fucking be. Yeah. And fucking did that Changed shit. her entire personality, persona, name. She changed her name. Thank you. And by the way. Less time than cooking school. It's all Yeah. She cut the line, dude. But she worked hard. James Altucher. Skip the line. Goddamn right. <laughs> did he skip the Goddamn line? Right. Yeah. yeah that's did. the name of his book. Uh, yeah, he was on the show. Uh, his book is Skip the Line. It's fantastic. And he talks all about this. If you want to skip the line, you still got to put in work, but you yes. got to figure out a way around yes. it and be like, all right, great. Yes. I understand what they're saying, uh, by the way, with like Bourdain and those guys. The biggest question I get all the time, like on DMs, besides I want to write a book, uh, I want to write a book or I, I want to be an actor. I always say the same thing. How old are you? Because it, at this point, if you hadn't started by 35 years old in that profession, it is not going to happen to you. I don't even know any agents that would take you on as a client at that point. Now, books are different because if you have, but it's going to take hard work. You're going to have to self-publish and get yourself out there and do everything else. Um, but you can at least do that on your own. But you can't become a famous chef on television or uh, just a famous actor. At that time. Just starting at that just age. Just starting at that time. You can't. If you've been at it for a while, if you're just trying to get that last little, like, what's this last little thing that I can do? I've been doing it forever. Yeah. Fine. But if you're literally just being like, mm, you know what? Unless you're rich, by the way, that's another way to just cut the line. Cut the line. But yeah, I mean, she but was. But most people aren't rich. Most yeah. people aren't like, you know, fuck, dude. Um, that's so anyways, just the way it is. Yeah. It just pissed me off because it would be like, if you said that to someone, like you got to just fucking put in the work, dude, you got to write every single day. And then people being like, what about the people without hands, man? Yeah. You know, what if, what about the people that don't have a computer? It's like, then you don't get to do it. Like, no. just get out of here. No, so Bo- Boston Joe, everybody, Boston Joe's in the chat. He said, Ross loves to tell people to give up on their dreams. I That's told, me. I told Joe to. I told Boston Joe. I told him to, because he plays guitar, right? And he's opening up for. Man, fuck. Say it in the chat, and I'll and I'll shout you out. But uh, uh, what I said to him was, if you want to be a musician at thir- I think he's 30, 29, or thirty at this point, you can't do it in Clayton, North Carolina. You've got to be in Austin. You've got to be in L.A. or New York, some place yeah, where there's yeah. just a fuck ton of like. You can go in every bar here. All the way to Drippin' Springs or anywhere else. Like, shit, I was at, I took our kid up to uh, Twisted X. Mm-hmm. Play some Jenga, a little ring toss. Daddy had a couple beers. There was a band playing that was incredible there, right? right? But there's places here in these cities where you can play every single day and become the absolute best at your craft with the best musicians on the planet. Um, and if you're not there, then you're not going to make it. Same way with acting. If you're not in L.A. or New York, Nobody's going to find you in fucking Kansas and be like, yeah, dude, that's, I saw a thing online. You're good. That shit hasn't happened since Pam Anderson and that fucking uh, Canadian football game where it was like they saw her on a scoreboard and had to have her in Baywatch. Right. It doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. The giving up on your dreams is definitely my mantra that I've been saying forever. And this is what I tell people. If, if this dream is serious, go to the places where it is achievable. Otherwise, fuck it. Like even with us in the podcast and this, this whole media company, um, everybody said, look, dude, we're moving the top 10 biggest shows here. We'll give you the same guests, advertisers. You can do everything, all the things, but you need to be here. Mm-hmm. I, wasn't that, I wasn't stoked about leaving Wilmington. I loved it there. 
Love the fucking beach. I just bitched about the weather at the top of this show. However, guests and everything else, like, dude, we couldn't have gotten Matthew McConaughey to come on Drinking Bros and shit like that. Like, you have to be where the talent is. Yeah. Long and short of it. Um, And it's sort of like this, I forget what it's called, but it's like survivor syndrome or champion syndrome or something where- Champion syndrome, I love. I don't know. It's something, but it's like these people at the top of their game. Like, for example, Michael Phelps telling you, don't give up. It's- it's really hard. You'll get there. Just keep working at it. Not taking into account like his wingspan, his fucking God given, you know. One large testament to you guys, though, I don't think I said enough is like you just kept showing up. You never gave up. And, you yeah. know, Ross continued to want to do it every day, no matter what. And I think there's something to that process. Like everyone wants the quick fix to jump the line, but sometimes right. you just have to have that time in it. The, like, and, how many and there is no quick now, fix. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. like stand up. Stand up is another great example. You're like right. all those guys hit the road for a one hour special for a fucking year usually. And it's they're just honing in that one hour and that's it for a year. Just got to get in reps. 